Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to my home. So a few weeks ago, my husband asked me if I could make him a trophy for his fantasy football league. The Hubs is super supportive of my woodworking hobby. So of course I was like, yes, I could make you a trophy. He had one parameter he got to pick the topper. So without further ado, I give you the Lombardi trophy. What? There's already a Lombardi trophy? Well, what am I going to call it now? Okay, I've got it. The Nova Vet Fantasy Football Trophy. I made this trophy out of maple and walnut using scraps that I had from other projects. Didn't really have a plan going in, so I kind of played around with things, tried some things out. A lot of times I don't have a plan when I'm creating something like this because it's really just meant to be fun. And honestly, I, I don't normally make trophies. So this was definitely a different project for me. Once the trophy was finished, we debated about spray painting this little guy, like gold or silver or something. So give me some feedback. Let me know in the comments what you'd rather see if you thought that he would look great gold, if you like him sort of au naturel. If you wanna see more content like this, hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. So if you're ready, let's head to the shop. I start my milling process at the jointer. Since this is scrap pieces that I had lying around, I start with just making sure one face is flat and then I'll square up an edge to that flat face. Then it's onto the thickness planer. For the walnut, I milled one board to one inch. For the other walnut board, I left it at about an inch and a half. And for the maple, I milled all the boards down to half an inch. At the table saw, I'll use my mini crosscut sled and a stop block to make consistent cuts for the top section of the trophy. Then I switched over to my large crosscut sled to make the bigger cuts for the bottom section of the trophy. The bottom section of the trophy only has two sections of maple because I wanted to leave a large face so that we could add some plates for the winner of the league each year. For the joinery of this project, I decided that I wanted to use dados to connect the maple and walnut pieces. I measured the thickness of the maple piece and then selected the dado stack that would create that groove. This is probably an unnecessary step. Since this trophy isn't going to have a load-bearing surface, I really could just glue the sections together, but I thought this would be a fun way to experiment with my dado stack and just to do something a little different.
Once I had the dado stack in place, I inserted my zero clearance plate. I lowered the blade and then raised the blade through the plate to make it zero clearance for this width of cut. I set up the fence using the small walnut piece as a reference and ran a test piece using some plywood just to make sure the maple piece fit. It didn't, so I reset my dado, added a shim, and then tested the maple again. And this time it was a perfect fit. I marked the sections of the walnut just to make sure I put the dado in the correct sections in order to make the box that makes up the upper section of the trophy. Then I set a consistent reveal using my fence and then ran each piece across the dado. Then I repeated the process using the bottom section of the trophy. Now that the sections of each box are done, I start with my glue ups. Initially, I just used Tight Bond 3 on the upper section. I applied glue to both surfaces and clamped things up. This seemed to go pretty well for the smaller upper box. I left the clamps on for three hours and then removed them. For the lower box, I thought I'd try something different and I got out my Instant Bond CA glue. I put a dab of CA glue on each of the pieces of walnut and put the Tight Bond 3 around it. I'd seen other people use this trick and this worked great. I had a tight hold just with the glue within a minute. I applied the clamps and left them on for three hours. Now that the boxes are finished, it's back to the miter saw and my crosscut sled to create the flat sections of the trophy. I used each of the boxes as a spacer to create a consistent cut. This allowed me to make the tops and bottoms of the boxes with minimal effort and I didn't have any potential for error as I was measuring. For the base of the trophy, I wanted to have a nice one inch reveal around the entire bottom box. So I measured about an inch around each edge and then cut the piece. This measurement is arbitrary as ultimately I'll line the box up to make the reveal consistent. While the top lined up nicely with the box, I thought it looked kind of boring. I decided to add a 45 degree chamfer to the top using my router just to add some visual interest. And for the very base of the box, I use this 532nd Roman OG to really make that edge profile look professional. Now that all the pieces are ready, it's time for some more glue. I used Type Bond 3 and the CA glue to make the glue up fast and strong. I added the clamps and left it on for three hours. I repeated the process with the middle box and then I clamped the two boxes together. I 
I used a ruler to make sure I had a consistent reveal around all edges and then marked the box location before the glue up. Once the tower section of the trophy was ready, it was time to add that beautiful base. Again, using a ruler, I created a consistent reveal and then marked it before adding glue and clamps. To add some more visual interest, I created some small sections of walnut to add to each box and frame out the maple. Sometimes when using my crosscut sled and small pieces, a pencil goes a long way. I glued each of these pieces in place and let the glue dry for three hours. Because of all the different grain directions and small pieces, I hand sanded this piece. I used 80 grit, 120, and 220. I blew up all the dust and wiped the piece down with acetone. Because this piece is small, I used Def Clear Semi-Gloss Wood Finish Lacquer in a spray can. Rather than getting out my HVPL sprayer, I put on four coats and sanded any rough spots between application. Sometimes when you're doing a small project, it's the little things that make it look more professional. I decided to add some velvet to the bottom of the trophy. I used this self-adhering velvet that I'd actually ordered for another project but had plenty left over to line the bottom of the trophy. Since the trophy is made of wood, I was worried that as people moved it around, it could scratch surfaces. So this will just add a little bit of protection through the years. Plus it's pretty. Using some CA glue, I lined up the center and attached Mr. Lombardi to the top of the trophy. This project was a lot of fun to make and I got to be a little creative. I hope you enjoyed watching me make it. If you have a moment, like this video and subscribe to the channel. And good luck in your fantasy football leagues. I'll see you next time in the shop.